The second beta of iOS 26 is finally here and it comes with new features, new fixes, and of course, new improvements to the UI. So in the previous video, I showed you guys new things that Apple has released with this update. And of course, there's always a lot more that we can discover in the next hours and days. So in today's video, I will show you guys another 20 hidden features and changes that you will be able to find on the new iOS 26 beta 2. And here's a really cool one. If you head on to Safari and you're browsing a website, you will notice right here that now we have a backwards and a forwards button right here at the bottom, which is actually super useful. Not you can only go backwards on the website, you can go forwards as well, which is awesome. Now the cool thing is that this will also work on third party apps. So when you open a link on a third party app, you can see right here, once I tap the button, it will actually show me the forward and the backwards buttons for Safari. Now this right here is one of my favorite features that Apple has added with the second beta. So when you're on the notes app, you will have the toolbar right here. Now if I just select a word, it will go right here and switch to the tools that I usually use when I select a word here. So it's actually really useful. It goes automatically there, but you can see now what happens if I actually select like a list here. So you can see it actually does switch to the other menu. So it just slides like that automatically it is actually amazing and i think this is one of the most useful features that apple has added to the notes app with iOS 26, it really makes your life much, much easier. Now with this update, Apple has also updated the Files app icon. It's a bit different from the old one, which actually was new on iOS 26 beta one, but now it has been updated with this like purple shade right there on the second beta. Now this is really cool about the Files app. So if I go here, you can see the folder that I have right there, of course, is the default blue color. And I have the default icons on the home screen but you can see what will change here if i go to edit my icons i go to customize and i use a tint for my icons you will notice now that also the folders will use that same color tint right here on the files app it is actually really cool in my opinion and anytime you switch to a different color tint it will also switch the color of the folders now this was the new music widget that apple has added to iOS 26 beta one. And now we have another one. We have live radios now. It only offers the big widget, but now you can have it on your home screen. So all the live radios that you listen to will be right here. And of course you can quickly go ahead and play any of these radios directly from your home screen. On the music app, there's also a change when you go to an album or a playlist and you're scrolling like this, you can see right there at the top, it will show that little icon, basically the thumbnail that you have for your playlist or the album art of the album that you're browsing. So you will see it right there instead of the name of the album or the name of the playlist, now you will see that little icon. You can now transfer an eSIM from Android. So when you go to your seller data options on the settings app, if you just scroll all the way down, you will have the option to trans or set up a mobile service. And then once you tap it there, you will have a few options and one of them will be transfer from Android, which lets you easily transfer any SIM that you have, any eSIM that you have on an Android device to your iPhone. Another great new feature of iOS 26 beta 2, which will be very, very useful in the future for iPhone users, is the ability to recover your iPhone, basically set it up from the recovery mode, fix your iPhone without having to use a computer. You can now use a second iOS device or an iPad that you might have to actually recover your iPhone from the recovery mode. Once you're on the recovery mode, it will show you all the steps that you need to follow in order to be able to recover your device without having to now use a computer. And on the settings app, when you go to your personal hotspot, when you enable it or disable it, you will see now the description right here for everything that you need. Basically, this was here before, but now when it's turned off, it just removes itself automatically. You enable it, it shows again. Now with iOS 26 beta 2, Apple has fixed the blur for the control center and the notification center, but they also added more blur 
to the widgets background. So now when you use the transparent mode for the icons, you will have more blur on the widgets. So of course you can much easier see and read the text on your widgets. And you will also have a new animation here on the home screen when you tap the edit button right there at the top. So when you go to edit or customize your home screen, you will have that cool animation right there. Also, when we go to customize, you can see that the border radius of this table right here has now actually changed. And this has actually changed on a lot of UI elements to basically look better with the corners of the iPhone. It actually matches the radius of the iPhone screen right here and it makes it look much nicer. And while searching for stuff on the spotlight search, you will now notice that the result right there, in this case, we have an app icon. The result will be bordered with like a black line, which highlights basically what you're searching for and what you're about to open if you just tap the search button. And the messages app now will give you a blue badge when you have a message, an unread message from an unknown sender. So the classic red badge of iOS won't appear for unknown numbers. It will just appear when you have a message from a known number that you have on your contacts list. Once an unknown number will text you, you will actually have a blue badge. And tracking orders from wallet app now actually works. You can do that. You can see right here, track orders from mail. Once you open it, it will actually uh, ask you to allow that to happen. So you will allow it right here if you want to. And now the wallet app will be able to actually track any orders that you have. And now we also have labels here on the camera app. So you can see the night mode or the flashlight. When I turn it on or off, it actually shows right here the text. In this case, it says night mode auto. So this actually had been removed with the first beta of iOS 26 and now it's back with this update. And I just got this pop up like minutes ago when the photos app actually crashed. I haven't seen this before. This must be new with iOS 26 beta 2. So it basically shows you that the app has quit. It basically has to crash and you can go ahead and give feedback directly from here. Also the visual intelligence on these screenshots actually is working now. It's, it works much, much better. So you can see you have the ask button right there and you will have the image button here, but now it works better than before. It actually was really bad and wasn't basically working at all with the first beta. And when you go to the details of a conversation on the messages app, you will notice now that right there, it will only show you the items that you have on that conversation. So in this case, we have the info and the backgrounds. If you have any media that someone has sent you, it will show you media as well. If you have files, it will show you files as well links it will show you links as well previously it would show all the categories even though most of them would actually be empty so this is a really nice touch so that's basically it for this video guys these are the new features and changes that you will find on ios 26 beta 2. probably there will be a lot more discovered in the next hours and days so i will keep you guys updated with the latest new features and changes on iOS 26. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.